Learning target 563, we're going to make a scatter plot of some real world data and then try to come up with an equation modeling the data. So if we look at number 17, Earth Science Mesosphere is a layer of atmosphere that lies from about 50 kilometers above Earth's surface to about 90 kilometers above Earth's surface. The diagram shows the temperatures at certain altitudes in the mesosphere. Part A, we're supposed to make a scatter plot of the data. So really what they gave us are points. We want to think of the altitude as our first variable. We'll call that X and our temperature in degrees Celsius, we'll call that Y. So really, we've got a table of values. Put it into a traditional table. We've got 86 for our altitude, negative 86 for our temperature. We've got 80, negative 65, 75, negative 54, 70 is negative 40, 65, We've got a temperature of negative 26 degrees Celsius. 60 is negative 21. And 52 kilometers above the Earth's surface, negative 4 degrees Celsius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that data. And I'm going to put it into a graph. I'm going to make a scatter plot. Now, just so we don't lose track of what we're looking at, X, that was our altitude, and Y was our degrees Celsius. So, set up my axes. Want to make sure I label so people know what they're looking at. We're looking at altitude, and we were measuring in kilometers, and we're looking at temperature in degrees Celsius. Now, the, the altitudes, they go from a high of 86 down to a low of 52. So if we think about how can we show all these values on a graph, this might be a good candidate for a heartbeat because we're kind of skipping all the values from 0 to 52. So I'm going to heartbeat, and I'm going to jump to, let's just say, 40. I need to get up to 86. Maybe I'll go by 5. So we've got 45. There's 50. Oop, I'm already messing up, aren't I? Altitudes on our x-axis. Let's try that again. Altitude, X's, they go from 52 to 86. Usually we don't like to use the heartbeat on the x-axis, so uh, I'm trying to get from 0 to 86. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go by 5's here. I just won't use the heartbeat. So there's 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers. We got 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and we're good to go. Now you're Temperatures, your degrees Celsius, or the y variable in this case, they go from a high of negative 4 to a low of negative 86. So right away, I'm going to have to adjust my graph because I'm dealing with negative numbers. The nice thing is I can just take this and slide it up like that. I'll do the same with my labels. So since we're dealing with mostly negatives, and I'm going from negative 4 to negative 86. I need to basically go from 0 to 90 again. I'm going to go by 5. So negative 5, there's negative 10. There's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. There's 80. And we'll just have to pretend that we extended our line a little bit. And we hit negative 90. Okay. Now we just need to plot the points, so take a second to do those. 86, negative 86. There's 85. There's negative 85 right about there. 80, negative 65. That should be easily found. Over 80, there's 65. 75, negative 54. 75, let's see, negative 50 is right there. 54 is going to be about right there. 70, negative 40. 70, negative 40. That's a nice, easy spot to find. 65, negative 26. There's 20. 25, 26 is about there. 60, negative 21. Over 60, down 21, right about there. And 52, negative 4. So 55, 2 is about there. Negative 4, about there. You can see there's a definite negative correlation here. So if we draw a line of fit, about half the points on top and bottom. We're looking something like that. So basically what we're saying as the altitude, as you go up and up and up, 
the temperature goes down and down and down. It gets colder as you get higher and higher in the atmosphere. If we're going to come up with an equation, because ultimately that's what we're supposed to do, we're going to pick two points on the green line. They don't have to be red dots. As far as we're concerned, we just use the dots to come up with that line. Now I can kind of ignore them if I want to. I want to find points on the line. So I'm going to pick, uh, that one looks pretty close right there. Actually, I think I'm going to go with this one here. That's pretty darn close. We're looking at 65, negative 30. And another point that looks pretty nice, maybe I'll use maybe I'll use this point right here. Looks like 80, negative 70. So the first thing we have to do is come up with our slope. We'll go y minus y over x minus x. That's our slope formula. Negative 70 minus negative 30. So we're going to have to chop, chop that over 80 minus 65. We better get a negative slope because the line is going down. Negative 70 plus 30, negative 40. 80 minus 65 is 15. Negative 40 divided by 15. What's that going to be? 15 goes into 40. That's going to be negative. So you got a negative divided by positive. 15 goes into 40 twice. That would be 30. So you'd have 10 30ths remainder. We're looking at about negative 2.33 is our slope. So every time we raise one kilometer in altitude, we can estimate the temperature will drop 2.33 degrees Celsius. So our equation, y equals negative 2.33x. Now we need the y-intercept. We're kind of in a bind on this one. Usually we like to just look and see, you know, if we make a decent graph, where does it hit the y-axis? Well, the problem here is the y-axis is way up there and I can't even see it. So in this case, what we can do is we can use some algebra to work backwards and find that y-intercept. The key is using a point that you know, because if we take this point, for example, we know when we plug in 80 for x, we should get about negative 70 for y. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's plug in negative 70 for y. Let's plug in 80 for x and see what happens. So if we take negative 2.33 times 80, that ends up, ends up being negative 186.4. So we get negative 70 equals negative 186.4. See, they're not equal right now. That's why we have to factor in this y-intercept. What do we have to add to make this true? Well, it's just a fencer. We'll add 186.4 to both sides. They cancel out, and we get the y-intercept. So we'll take negative 70, and we'll add 186.4 and we come out to 116.4, which kind of seems like it's reasonable because if you look at our graph, that y-intercept's going sky high. It's getting up there. So our final answer, our final equation, would be y equals negative 2.33x plus 116.4. Now, answers will vary a little bit. Let's see how we did. If we go to the answers for this section, 5.6. This was number 17, I believe. Let's see how we did. The equation that a computer would come up with was negative 2.2x plus 111. We had negative 2.33x plus 116. We were pretty darn close. What else were we supposed to do? We, we made the scatter plot. We wrote the equation. At about what rate does the temperature change with increasing altitude? We talked about that earlier. You can see uh, rate is just a fancy word for slope. So negative 2.33, we could say it uh, goes down. about 2.33 degrees Celsius for every kilometer increase in altitude.